Hi, I'm Adam of Atomic Combustion in Los Angeles, California, and you are watching Factory 78. I'm your general all-around, all-purpose film guy. I, uh, I write, I shoot, I direct, I edit. Um, I work short films, commercials, music videos, features. Um, I'm pretty much a jack of all trades when it comes to the film industry. I met Kenny through a mutual friend. I shot uh, an event for him. He paid in full for that for that event. Um, so, and he's also very likable in person. Kenny Kenny is very affable. You're, you you want to be friends with him. He's friends with everybody. He's really nice. He's smiley. He's jovial. Um, and you think, oh well, he must be a good guy. So. Um, he pitched me the idea, he's got an artist in town and he wanted to work with me because he's seen my previous work. Um, so I decided, hey, let's work with him. Met with him uh, at his hotel and we discussed the terms uh, with my friend Matt Reese and his hotel room to uh, shoot a, uh, two music videos for Kelly Hansom, which was Maga Don't Pay and True Love. Okay. I, um, when I met with Kenny at his hotel room, I uh, made the agreement to be the director on two Kelly Hansen music videos. I went from $3,000 per music video to $2,000 per music video in kind of a package deal. He whittled me down. So I agreed to do both music videos for $4,000 instead of the proposed $6,000. So that was the agreement. We shook on it. As a matter of fact, my roommate at the time had made an offer to edit the music videos, and uh, his name is Matt Reese. He was with me for the whole for the whole thing, and he uh, he said he'd do he'd, he'd do the editing. So Kenny was like, "Okay, well you can do the editing." When you have a relationship with your editor, that's how you get your best product. Uh, because when you're a director, you shoot things to be for certain visual reasons to cut from this to that or that to this and it would have been helpful had Matt actually done the editing. Maga don't pay. Maga don't pay. Sing hallelujah. Yeah. That one. The reason you don't know that Maga Don't Pay was the other video that I directed is because Kenny put his name on it as the director. Um, he didn't direct that video. I directed that video. But I don't mind that he put his name on that one because it was edited um, not to my specifications. Um, there's so much that's, that, was, that we have that isn't in that video because basically it explained the nature of the problem. We shot it on film and there's no audio track on the film. So syncing becomes difficult. I have my own CD that I made specifically for shooting that music video. So each film take coincides with the track that I made on the CD that I, when I cut up the song. So uh, he took credit for that and I'm like, I don't necessarily want credit for that because it could have been amazing. It could have been a great video and instead it's an okay video. And uh, so he stole credit on that one, and that's why nobody knows that Maga Don't Pay, uh, I directed. I had never seen the True Love video, and I didn't even know it was finished uh, until I read these questions, and I went and checked it out on YouTube. We shot the video on film, and they went back and they filled in the gaps uh, and changed uh, the ideas that I had for it, for it, and shot on like a digital camera. So they mixed film with like a, a digital, you know, video camera, and it, just the quality level is different. They even changed like the whole, the whole video's approach. Um, which is weird. I don't understand the cutscenes. I don't know. Uh, it looks like, to me, like it, they shot it on a Panasonic HVX200A or something. Um, so they're mixing film with video, and I mean, it just doesn't play. Um, so if they shot it all on film, it would look pretty good, but, you know, they messed up on that one. Uh, Kenny did uh, talk to me after I posted my first video on YouTube. And basically, he called me up and he said, "Oh, I want to make it right, and like, like I'll pay you. How much do I owe you? Blah blah blah." And then we're trying to make good on everything. We agreed on two thousand. Um, so he said, "Oh, I'll pay. I'll get you the two thousand. 
Uh, and then a couple days later, he calls me and he says, okay, I'm gonna give you 1,000. And you make the video exonerating me saying that I've paid in full and then I'll give you the other thousand. And I'm like, okay, I'll make a video uh, exonerating you. And uh, he paid me a thousand dollars in bank transfer. I actually have the, uh, the receipt for that in a folder right over here. You can focus in on that, but uh, it, it, minus the amount of money that the banks take, pretty much paid me half of the second half. So uh, I, I did a video like, hey, we've come to an agreement, and, and as soon as he pays, I'm taking the video down. And he decided all, oh, and he called me back later saying he didn't like the video. I was like, well, uh, I can make another video, but you have to pay me in full. Like the, this half, paying you in half, and then thing, I don't understand that. I couldn't make a video saying, oh, he's paid in full, and then I'm like, where are my other thousand dollars? Oh, well, you said I paid in full. So I didn't want to play that game. Because it was my fear at that point, because I no longer trusted Kenny um, to actually pay, uh, that if I made a video fully exonerating him, that he wouldn't pay the last thousand dollars that he owed me. I'm no longer of the opinion that I can take the videos down. At, in the beginning, all I wanted was uh, him to pay, and I thought um, that I could just get the payment and then he could go through his life, you know, hopefully abiding by a higher code and learning from the experience or something. Honestly, the guy's hard-headed. He doesn't pay his people. I've heard about other infractions, how he screwed up with other artists around. I've talked to Kelly and uh, Kelly Handsome, and Kelly Handsome told me that, like, you know, he hasn't exactly done him very well. I don't know all the details about that. I kind of say I only know about my own problems. <laughs> you know, like it's too much to know about my own problems to focus on everybody else's problems. All I know, all I'm aware of is that he's violated contracts before. He hasn't paid people before. And I want to hold his feet to the fire. Um, somebody's got to say he's not trustworthy. Someone's got to say if you're entering a, a negotiation with them, be wary, because he doesn't always do what he says he's going to do. He doesn't always do what he says he's going to do if it's written down and signed on paper. So that kind of guy, well, I mean, he's got to be held accountable by somebody. And I'm, I'm at the point where I want someone to search his name and I want them to find my videos talking about him so people are exposed to who he is. Um, because it, it makes me angry when people do other people wrong on a regular basis, especially really talented artists that work really hard to do what they do. He's got to abide by the agreements he makes. It's just, that's so, a fair world. And I want to live in that fair world. At this point, I don't, I don't expect him to pay in full. He's, he has cut off communication with me. He, he hasn't paid the, it was a thousand dollars. You know? And then there would be no harm from me uh, as far as his reputation. And he just refuses to pay. He refuses to contact me, he doesn't answer emails, and then he says, acts like he's mad about a video that did nothing but tell the truth and was very positive, saying that he was going to pay and, and, and announcing the time that the videos would be taken down. And I'm a man of my word, I was going to take the videos down. Unfortunately, he breached that yet again, and so that deal is over. I care about the future of, of artists that are getting screwed over by a guy that, that treats his artists as if they were prostitutes and he pimps them out and if they don't do right he slaps them around and then they say wait where's my where's my you know uh new house oh well here's a here's a trailer uh okay well where's my new car oh here's a bicycle you know <laughs> so i mean that's the kind of, oh oh where's my thousand dollars oh I, I remember we agreed that it was two hundred dollars i'm like no it was a thousand dollars it was $200, wasn't it? Don't you remember? Don't you remember? It wasn't $200. It was $1,000. Take the $200 or you don't get anything. And that's how he is. <sighs> Kenny, if you paid me the amount that you owe me plus interest and plus $500 per video that I've made, uh, we might be able to talk about um, taking this stuff down. 
but I will no longer make a video exonerating you. I will merely take the videos down that I have posted up. And and that would be the deal I would I would strike with him. You know, because people make copies of the videos and you know they can I mean I can't do anything about that. And I'm not gonna make a video exonerating. I'm only gonna take mine down. And and, and I won't make any more in the future because it's not in my interest. You already paid. This isn't about money. This this is about you making an agreement to do something. When I make extra videos calling Kenny out, that's my lifetime, my time, my heartbeats. That's like that's the most valuable thing I have. And I'm I'm exerting effort to collect something that is already owed me. I should be compensated for my time, and time is so important. Your time should be compensated for. Uh, when somebody offers to pay you and and they don't pay that's what that's what interest is supposed to be But I mean the extra effort and not just talking making phone calls sending out emails and everything else. Oh Make sure that's on <laughs> um, It's just important and uh, I, I want him who has a lot of money by the way to pay someone a little bit of money for their effort and their and their frustration with the fact that he didn't uh, he didn't uh, live up to his expectations or commitments. Absolutely not. Kenny uh, dug his own hole. Then he's. <laughs> you know, I kn I I know Kelly Handsome. I like Kelly Handsome. I trust Kelly Handsome. I don't do any of those things for Kenny. Um, but that doesn't mean that we're conspiring to make up things to hurt his image. No, it's like he didn't pay. He didn't pay me. That's m my relationship with Kenny is that Kenny said he was going to pay. Kenny didn't pay. Um, when I talk to Kelly, we don't talk about Kenny that much. I mean, it comes up like, oh, Kenny did this. I'm like, yeah, well, Kenny still hasn't paid. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we're not, there's no conspiracy or anything. I mean, Kenny just merely not pay, you know, like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I don't remember for the first video, but I know that um, by the time uh, I was actually getting back in talks with, I mean, Kelly called me and told me that Kenny saw the video and didn't like the video. Obviously, no one would like a video calling them out for money that, you know, that they owed someone. Kenny called me and said that he would pay me. I talked to, to Kelly and Kelly told me let bygones be bygones, and that um, to, to go ahead and trust uh, Kenny to pay me the last amount that he had owed me that we had agreed to. And that's before uh, Kenny decided to part it out and give me half of the half that he owed me, and then make me make try to make me make a video exonerating him so he didn't have to pay me the, the, the one fourth of the whole thing. So, I mean. Uh, Kelly actually spoke favorably of, of Kenny for a while because he was trying to work things out with Kenny himself and Kenny had made a number of promises to him for some other thing I know nothing about. Kelly's advice to me was to go ahead and make the video exonerating um, Kenny Ogungbe paying me in full. And, uh, and I, I couldn't do that because I didn't trust Kenny anymore. So I made a video accurately depicting um, where we were in time is that he paid me half a half and then he needed to pay me a little bit more and the videos would go away. So Kelly was uh, was very friendly uh, behind closed doors uh, to Kenny and very hopeful that Kenny was going to live up to his obligations not only to me but to him at that time. <laughs> no, Kenny, Kenny uh, didn't direct that video. Kenny took all the footage from from a place called Photocam in Burbank after see film has to be processed and developed and then it has to be uh, converted and put onto uh, digital tape and what had happened is called the telecine process I'm probably pronouncing that wrong so after the telecine process happened he had it on a bunch of tapes well he instead of calling up me who had dropped off the footage to uh, Photocam he called the cinematographer and had the cinematographer run behind my back grab all the footage and bring it to him in his hotel room, uh, thereby uh, bypassing me completely. At this point, I guess Kenny had made the decision that like he wasn't going to work with me anymore because he didn't want to pay me. Um, 
that goes into something deeper is because he tried to like say that I was going to edit the videos and demanded that I edit the videos on the very last day of the shoot, even though that's not what we agreed to and shook hands on. And I have a witness for that, Matt Reese, who is willing to make a video. So anyway, he took the footage and I guess he decided to throw me under the bridge. He went to his MTV editor. From what I understand, I don't know who edited it. Um, and she edited, my understanding is it is a she, and she edited it um, and put it together completely without me and my input or my notes or the CD that I had made cutting up the song. So at that point, after all that work had gone into it, he said, uh, well, who directed the video? Well, I did because he didn't want no Adam Jones on there because, <laughs> I mean, I didn't edit it or I didn't bend to his will or I didn't edit it just because he said, well, I believed that the agreement had you editing it. Well, I didn't agree to edit it. I agreed to, to direct it and you also got producing uh, thrown in the bag. Um, so you got a producer and a director and then you didn't pay him and... <laughs> And you decided to put your name as the director. I, I don't know. You're the money guy. <laughs> I, I wouldn't suspect any less. I think Kenny is completely capable of screwing over a lot of other people before, before me. Uh, except he didn't know that when he screwed me over that I would be a guy that would be willing to put my face out there as saying, Hey, you didn't do what you were supposed to be doing. Um, you defrauded me. Um, you didn't pay me what you said that you were going to pay me. Not a lot of people go out there and, and, and are very uh, aggressive about other people, but the, the, the way I figure it is this. I'm the little guy. Kenny is on Primetime Africa. He's a host. He owns a production company. He works with major artists that go all over the world. I mean, he travels from Nigeria to Los Angeles to South Africa to whoever and where else, uh, you know, Thailand to, to, to Europe. I don't do any of those things. I'm, I, I work hard uh, to make as much good product as I can, and when I don't get paid for it, when I, like everybody else works a regular job, they get a paycheck at the end of the week, but instead of me getting a paycheck at the end of the week, I get like, oh, bupkis, because Kenny decides he doesn't want to pay. Like I said, this, this thing right here, <laughs> where is it, where is it? Hold on one second, it's done. I don't pay. I don't pay. Scam artist Kenny Ogungbe too bougie for his bills. And I guess that says it all. I'm going to put this out on the internet. You can download it and put it as your background on your computer if you want to. If you have been screwed over by Kenny, you should put this somewhere on your website or your blog. Or if you believe me. Which you should, because I'm honest. <laughs> Haven't I covered that already, pretty much? Uh, there is a point in, in any debt where you write it off and you decide this, this money isn't worth me continuing to pursue because it's just not worth my time. The damage that is caused to society because good people are unwilling to call out bad people for the, the bad things that they do uh, has to end with someone. So. I want that person to be me. I want to say, hey, you know what? You can't do this to people. I'm the last person I ever want this to happen to. Therefore, Kenny didn't pay. Kenny will probably screw you over. Kenny doesn't like abide by the contracts that he makes. And uh, Kenny is generally not an honest human being. So in order to make him honest, like as an adult, I mean, I'm not his parents. I can't go spank him. But what I can do is I can ruin his reputation to the extent of my ability to the extent of people believing in what I'm saying. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to hold his feet to the fire and I'm going to say, no, you can't do this to people. Don't agree to pay something and not pay it. Don't put your name on a video that's not yours. Don't try to pull a scam on the back end trying to get somebody to exonerate you for half of what you owe them still. Uh, it's a, it's a character thing. It's a value issue. I decided to put my feet in the sand because, I mean, and stomp down and say, no, you can't do this to anybody anymore. And that's what I did. I wanted to say thank you to Factory 78 um, for giving me this, for reaching out and giving me this outlet to be able to uh, further spread the truth that Kenny Ogungbe 
isn't the most honest person uh, when it comes to fulfilling his business obligations. And uh, thanks, guys. And uh, if there's any further developments, uh, send me another email. Give me another call. I'd be happy to fill you in.